Hello, I'm Davina of SheepAndStitch.com and today I'm going to show you how to pick up a drop stitch from Stockinette Stitch and Garter Stitch. Alright, so what we've got here is a little drop stitch. It has fallen down, you know, fallen down its work and it's all alone down here and we're going to rescue this little guy. I always think of drop stitches as like a child that's fallen down a well that's been ignored. Lassie has forgotten him and it's all alone in this little well. So we're going to save this little guy. We're going to save Timmy. Okay, we're going to bring him back to its stitch family up here on the needle. All right, so let's do this. Let's save Timmy. What we're going to do, and oh yeah, first I should say that we're on stockinette stitch right now. So how you rescue a stitch of stockinette stitch is going to be different than how you rescue garter stitch. Okay, so now we're going to rescue Timmy from his, you know, in his garter stitch situation. So I'm going to take my needle and I'm just going to put it through the stitch. I'm going to put it through Timmy. And then you can see here that there are these little, you know, strands of yarn, right? These are kind of like little ladders and we're going to, we're going to bring Timmy up the ladder. He's going to climb these ladders. So how we're going to do this is I'm going to take my needle that's holding Timmy and I'm going to bring it underneath one of these ladders. Okay. The one at the very bottom. Okay, so now I've got Timmy here and I've got the ladder here and I'm just going to take Timmy, here's Timmy, and I'm going to bring him over the ladder, the ladder like this, the little rung, okay, the ladder rung. So now Timmy has climbed one ladder rung, pretty cool, he's getting closer to his family. And I'm going to do that again, I'm going to take my needle and bring it underneath this ladder rung here and then I'm going to take Timmy and bring him over the ladder rung. All right, so he is slowly climbing up closer to his family. I'm gonna do that again. So underneath the ladder rung, bring Timmy over it. And we're gonna do it one last time. There's one more ladder to climb, one more ladder rung. There we go, under this ladder rung, and we're gonna bring Timmy over it. Now, if you don't know why I'm calling this stitch Timmy, then, you know, I suggest you watch Lassie and uh, you'll figure it out pretty quickly, okay? So now we are pretty much on the same level as all of the stitches here, and we're gonna reunite Timmy with his family. We're gonna put him back on the needle. So I'm gonna take these stitches off the needle. Be careful not to drop them. And I'm gonna take Timmy and put him back on. Woohoo! mission complete. We have rescued Timmy. So I'm gonna take the rest of these stitches here and just put them back on. And look at that. Now Timmy is back with his family. We should play some sister sledge here. And now you can see that, you know, our fabric looks amazing. It looks like nothing happened. No one fell down a well. What well? Totally, totally unmolested. It looks great. All right, so that's how you save a drop stitch on stockinette stitch. Now let's look at garter stitch. Now, garter stitch is a different story. It's a little bit similar, but it's, you know, it involves a purl stitch, right? So that's how garter stitch differs from stockinette stitch. Because on garter stitch, you can see that you've got one row of purl and one row of knit. Whereas on our stockinette stitch, it was all knits. So let's take a closer look at our garter stitch. Right now, Timmy is right down here and Timmy is on a purl row right now. Let's get, let's take a better look at Timmy. Let's make him a little bit bigger. Okay, so here we go. Timmy is on a purl row. And as you know, garter stitch is made up of one row of purl and one row of knits, one row of purl, one row of knits, and it just alternates like that. So now Timmy is on a purl row and his next row is gonna be a knit row. So we're going to bring Timmy up this ladder the knit way, which is what we just did for stockinette stitch. So we can see this rung here, this little ladder rung. So we're gonna do the exact same thing as we did just previously. We're gonna impale Timmy right here. We're gonna push our needle into him. And then the next rung here, we're going to take our right needle, go underneath it as we did with our stockinette. Whoops. And then we're going to bring Timmy over this rung. Okay, there we go. Cool, so now we have just brought him up one rung. And now we've, you know, he's on his knit stitch, or excuse me, yeah, he's on his knit stitch. So the next stitch is a purl row, as you can see. So Timmy needs to be purled onto this rung, not knit onto this rung. And how we're gonna do that is we're gonna take our needle, 
and we're gonna bring it in from the top rather than from the bottom, which is what we've been doing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pinch Timmy to make sure he doesn't fall any further. I'm gonna take my needle off. I'm gonna take my needle and bring it down from on high. It's gonna come down from the top like this. So I'm gonna take it you know, underneath this rung and then I'm gonna put Timmy back on this needle like this. Okay, and I'm gonna turn my work around so I can see it a little bit better, okay? So now you can see that I have the rung up here and Timmy on the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the rung, the ladder rung, I'm gonna bring it up top like this, okay? up top you know over Timmy and then I'm gonna take Timmy and bring him over that ladder rung okay so I'm gonna pull that tight a little bit and I'll turn my work around so you can see that now Timmy has climbed onto the ladder rung and you know he's done so in a purl stitch so you can see this little bump right so Timmy has completed a purl stitch up the rung so let's do that uh, let's keep going up the ladder. So we've done a purl row, or excuse me, a purl stitch. The next row is gonna be a knit stitch. So we'll just do a knit stitch. So we're gonna take our right needle, go underneath this rung, and we're gonna take Timmy over this rung. And there we, whoops, there we go. Okay, so he's just done, he's just climbed up one knit stitch on the rung. Okay, so we've got this last rung here and you can just see that this is gonna be a purl row. So Timmy needs to be purling up this ladder rung and so we'll just do what we did um, previously again. We're gonna pinch Timmy so he doesn't fall and we're gonna take our needle, come up from the top, right? We're gonna go, come up from the top but we're gonna go underneath this ladder rung from the top. We're gonna drop Timmy onto the needle and I'm gonna turn my work around because I can just see it better this way. I can do it a little bit easier. I'm gonna take my ladder rung and bring it on top over Timmy. And then I'm gonna take Timmy and I'm going to pull him over that ladder rung. So woohoo, I'm gonna turn my work around and you can see that we have, whoops, wah, oh no. Okay, save Timmy. All right, so now you can see that Timmy has climbed up this garter stitch and now he is on a purl stitch and that matches the other stitches on this row and that's perfect. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I did with my stockinette stitch. I'm gonna take these stitches off the needle. I'm gonna put Timmy back on the needle. Woohoo! He is safe now. He has been saved from his sad loneliness in the well. All right, so let's get these stitches back on. Everyone's back on the needle. Big happy family. Here we go. Pretty cool, huh? You can see that there was not, it looks like nothing happened here, right? No one fell, no well, what well? Totally cool. So there you go. The next time you drop a stitch, just perform one of these rescue missions. Your fabric will look amazing and it'll be like nothing happened. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then please like it and subscribe right here for more knitting and pattern tutorials. Okay, that's it for me. I'm Davina of SheepAndStitch.com and I'll catch you next time with another knitting video.